What's up, everybody? Coming at you with another video. <laughs> uh, not a lot coming out this week, actually. Uh, I was really surprised. I had a tough time like picking out books that I think you guys would uh, be okay with. DC is just barren. Look at all of this. Um, it's it's all like Nightwing and Gorilla, Magnola, Gorilla. Superman meets Top Cat. <laughs> it's all the uh, Hanna Barbera crossovers. Uh, there's nothing unless you want Heroes in Crisis, which meh, I'm just not interested in it. The only book I haven't been reading it, but I probably should. I hear this is really good. This Justice League Dark, I hear is really good. I haven't been reading it, but I might. I might pick up the. Uh, there's a trade paperback I'm sure coming out. So maybe I'll check it out then. But a lot of people seem to really dig this uh, Justice League Dark and Justice League Odyssey. So uh, that's there if you want it. That's the only DC book that I thought looked interesting. That's it. Um, a couple on the Marvel side, though. Extermination number four or five. Now, this book has been decent. I've enjoyed the first two and then the third one, I just didn't see. I missed it. So I'll probably just wait for the trade paperback at this point because there's only one more left, and Marvel pushes these out so fast. But it's basically about the... Uh, they're sending the original X-Men back, I hope, finally. Get them out of here. It's such a mess having them around. So this has been a decent story. I don't like the young, hip cable not a big fan of him, but it's okay. Marvel 2 and 1, number 11. Hoping we get some better art finally in this book. But Sadarsky's still on it. And this has been a really solid series. This whole series has been really great. Now the Fantastic Four are back. And it's actually the thing and Mr. Fantastic this time. I don't know if this is going to be a one-shot or what. But this uh, looks like it's going to be a good companion to the main book. So... This is there. I, I, I'm going to pick this one up for sure. This one I will be reviewing. I've bought all of them. Uh, other than some really weak art, <laughs> the past three, the story's been great. And we got Old Man Logan at number 50. I picked this one because I think this is the last issue, and I think he dies. I haven't been reading this. Um, I hear great things about Old Man Logan. I haven't picked it up. Maybe I'll... Uh, Get an omnibus or something. I, I just I like the real Wolverine, but uh, some people swear by this. I think it's kind of cool. He got his hand chopped off, so he has bone claws in one, and then aluminium claws in the other. Um, I just put this up because maybe he's gonna die, so I might, might check this one out. Because I mean, they have to kill him. They have the real Wolverine coming back. It makes no sense to have him around. So a lot of the Spider Geddon tie-ins. This is way too many, right? But this one, I saw the writer. It says Priest. Christopher Priest is writing this one. So I'm going to pick this up. He's a really good writer. And uh, I was sold right there and then, <laughs> pretty much. So this one uh, looks like Kane is going to lead some kind of mission. I don't know what's going on. But Christopher Priest used to be an editor for Spider-Man. And he's really solid. So this one, this one I'm 100% getting. I think it's worth checking out. And we got Volta Spiders. The only reason I picked this up and, and I'm recommending it is because there's very few books to even really look at this week, if, in my opinion. There's not a lot at all. This one could be fun, though, because of the... Uh, so they have the Japanese Spider-Man in here, which is pretty cool. If you don't know who that is, that was like a pretty much a Spider-Man in Japan, live action show, and he had a giant, of course he had a giant Megazord that he used. I mean, of course, it's Japan. So this could be fun. I don't know. I can't say for sure how well this one will go. Colin Bunn's okay. We'll see. It's a hit or miss thing. Um, it could be fun just because of the giant robot. So I'm going to get it. It's up to you if you want to. I think it'll be fun to review. We got What If Magic. This is the last of the new What If books. 
and I hate how they're number ones. It should have just went number one, two, three, four. I think this number five or six, but um, all of them but one so far have been pretty fun. I think this is worth looking at. And you got Realm number ten. Uh, been, I read a little bit of Realm. It's pretty good. Maybe you want to check it out, see if it's for you. It's end of a story arc, so the next one would be a good jumping on point, more than likely. Uh, that's it, man. This is the this is the shortest week that I've had. Like literally, like only a handful of comics. I mean, I just don't like the comics are really expensive, so I don't think you know you go out and it's, it's hard to go out and just splurge and get a whole bunch, you know. So it's, it's a heavy investment anymore. So that's it. Those are my recommendations. One more time, I think Justice League Dark and Wonder Woman: The Witching Hour is worth looking at. Extermination number four, Marvel two and one number eleven, Old Man and Logan number fifty, Spider Force number one, Vault of Spiders number one, What If Magic number one, and Realm number ten. So if those sound interesting to you, give them a check. Anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these. Check out my uh, links in the description. Got a link to my Discord. Got a link to my Twitch. Got a link to my Patreon. Hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.